Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, myself Ananda, and today we are going to see using MuleSoft Composer Snowflake connector, how we can insert data to Snowflake. So I have already published one uh, video uh, where I have shown that how to configure a MuleSoft Composer Snowflake connector and using that connector or using that Snowflake connector, how we can trigger a MuleSoft Composer flow once uh, event uh, raised in Snowflake level. But today we'll see just the opposite uh, direction of the flow. That means here I will today for demo purpose, I will insert or update some data in Google Sheet and in turn that will trigger the mules or composer flow. And finally that flow will store that data to Snowflake. So basically today's video topic is to explore how we can send data to Snowflake using Snowflake connector from mules or composer. So I will provide the earlier video link into the into the description. So if you want to know how to connect on configure mules of snow, sorry, how to configure Snowflake connector, you can check that link. So let's start. So let's create a new flow from scratch. It's opening up. Okay, I will use a system event and let me take Google Sheet. I am going to use an existing connection. Uh, I'm going to use uh, updated row because I'm going to update the row and I'm going to use a spreadsheet. This, this is my spreadsheet. So for your reference, this spreadsheet I'm I'm configuring now. Sorry. Uh, I will give the worksheet name as test. And I will use mention a truth. So that means uh, I am telling that, yes, updated row. I am going to trigger this flow once there is any row updation happened on Google Sheet, but also I'm saying that if I insert a new row in that Google Sheet, that should also trigger this in, uh, this uh, composer flow. So this is done. Now next, I mean, I'm going to keep it very simple. Let me configure uh, the Snowflake activity system, I mean, so let me select Snowflake and I will use this connector. So as I mentioned, I will pop, uh, provide the video link where you can see that how I have created this connector. I mean, how I have configured this connector, Demos SF connector. So I'm just putting insert and it's just click. Now I'm going to use a edit SQL string. So let me see my table structure from Snowflake. This is my Snowflake trial account. Let me run this. Okay, ID, name, level, and state. So these are the four field I have in this table and I have to insert that. So that's the SQL statement I have to write. So I am creating the SQL statement. And values. I just pass some parameters so that I can run time, I can uh, provide the value. So this is ID, this is um, a name. Okay, let's check the other level and state. So let pass level. And state. Save it. Okay. Before that, I have to also select the field. So let me select the field. Otherwise, it will let me refresh because I have added few new fields which is not coming up. Yeah. So these are the fields coming from my worksheet. So from here, it is taking all the column names. 
and I can select all these fields or any one or two, whatever I want to do. So here I will select all these fields. And now I pass on the same fields to this uh, uh, to this parameter so that whatever value I will put into the Google sheet uh, work Google worksheet, whatever value I put under those columns, the same value should get inserted into Snowflake table. So let me start here. Yeah, I will start with ID. Then for label, I will put sugar label. Uh, then I will put the name and then I will put the state. Okay. So now I am done. Let me save it. Okay. I have to give a flow name. So let me put it as demo snowflake inside. So it is now getting saved. Okay. Now let me put some value here. So let me put one. Let me put a name. I'm just putting some name. Uh, let me put something called anything. Uh, and state Florida. And let me start the testing. So I will update that row once again. Uh, and then I will see that how the, I mean, we'll need to see how the flow works. So let me click on the test. We are waiting. Once it ready, yeah, now it is waiting trigger event. So we'll go here and instead of one, let me change this. And let's see how it works. So it will change to processing. Yeah, now it's processing. That means the flow got triggered. Okay, so now test is finished. Now let us go here and Let's see, earlier we have already seen that there is no data inside that table. If I run it, now I can see the data. See, so the same value got inserted into this table, Snowflake table, what I have provided in the Google Sheet. So that's how Snowflake connector work and insert work. I can test one more time. Let me click on this test button. I'll just change the name and see that how it is, whether it is getting inserted or not. Okay, so instead of Rahul, now let put some other name and this has ID and see. It's still waiting and very soon it will trigger because I have updated the sheet. Yeah. Yeah, test finished. Let's see. Yeah, now I can see there are two rows inserted. So that's how it's worked. So if you see here this action, let me show once again. Uh, let me go to the edit mode. Okay. So there are different action available. You can select, you can update, you can delete. Uh, so, and, and it's very simple. I mean, using Snowflake connector in MuleSoft Composer, it's very simple. Uh, yeah, there are many, uh, Snowflake has many operation to off offer many sophisticated operations. And if you want to leverage all those, kind, those operations, you should use MuleSoft uh, integration means MuleSoft has a out of the box Snowflake connector available from your AnyPoint Studio. You can use that. All the operations are available over there. 
if you want to use those sophisticated operation and you want to trigger the, those operation from Mulesoft Composer, then you can create an API. And uh, from that, that API should be exposed over HTTP or HTTPS and Mulesoft Composer can very well invoke HTTP endpoint. So that is the way you can design your flow for more complex work. But for the time being, what I have shown that the beauty of Mulesoft Composer is that if a business person want to insert some data to Snowflake uh, and if they are using Snowflake as their data warehouse or uh, data lake, they can very easily create a flow even without bothering IT team. So IT team can keep on doing their own work and business team for this kind of simple integration. They need not to rely on IT or need not to wait on IT. So that's the main team or main purpose of this entire Mulesoft Composer. I hope I able to explain or I able to demo that how Snowflake Connector use. I will provide my earlier video link also. So thank you. Thanks for being with me. If you find this video helpful, please, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Very soon I will come with many more videos. Uh, till then. Thanks a lot. Bye.